What's going on guys? It's a beautiful day in Los Angeles. Um, the weather is actually pretty nice. It's about 80 degrees or something. I'm in Hollywood right now. Just skating down the Hollywood Boulevard. And um, it's kind of crazy because like usually at this time of the year, um, LA is like super busy. Um, there are tons of things to do. There are tons of people here, but the streets are relatively empty from what you uh, normally see. I mean, this is Hollywood. Whoa, that sun staring right into my future. <laughs> um, so yeah, so typically the streets are like crazy busy this time of the year, um, especially because a lot of people move to Los Angeles. But now that we're in a pandemic, um, there's really not a lot to do and people are actually moving out of LA because it's so expensive and everything is locked down. There are less jobs, etc. So yeah guys, so LA has been pretty much shut down. Um, people are actually moving to, you know, Miami, um, going to Houston, you know, other places that are have looser restrictions. Um, I personally, myself, I'm actually thinking about going to Chicago for um, a couple of weeks just to hit the gym, get my body right, because, you know, it's been difficult um, living here without having access to the gym. So yeah guys, so at the moment I'm actually going to um, to get some food and I have some really interesting updates that you guys have to know about, so stay tuned. Also this is kind of weird, I'm using a new camera that has this flip out screen. So I'm not sure if I should look directly into the camera, if I should look to the side, but um, I kind of don't want to seem cross-eyed, right? So, um, but anyway, uh, right now I'm going to get some food, then I'm going to get back home and I'll give you guys some updates. So this year has actually been really busy um, so far and I hope it keeps going this way um, for me as a model. Um, I've already done um, two jobs and I have a couple more jobs pending um, just this month alone. So compared to last year when everything was shut down and uh, companies were scaling back and there wasn't a lot of jobs, um, I think this year is actually going to be pretty good. All right, so I'm going to try to make this video um, while eating my salad. Um, this salad is like one of my favorites at Sweet Greens. This is the fish taco, and it's so good. Mm. Excellent. So anyway, so modeling has been pretty busy um, so far this year. Um, I've been sent to several castings already. Um, now, mind you, most of those castings are virtual and some of them are self-tape, um, but I can tell already just from this month, and we're not even done with the month yet, just from this month so far, um, the pace has definitely um, picked up compared to last year. So as I said, I've already done two jobs. I've been um, to several castings and I have some more jobs uh, lined up coming pretty soon. But as far as the lockdown, how are you guys doing? How's the lockdown? How's the pandemic in your city, wherever you guys are? Um, speaking from Los Angeles, it sucks. It really sucks. Everything is shut down. I had some friends come to Los Angeles to visit a couple of days ago and there just wasn't anything to do. Like we went hiking and that was about it. So there's nothing else you can do. Restaurants are closed. Uh, some of those restaurants are actually closing their businesses down for good. Um, there are a lot of restaurants that uh, um, have an option to take out, but there's no outdoor dining. Um, there hasn't been any outdoor dining since I believe end of November um, because the governor um, made those restrictions tougher because LA is actually one of the worst uh, places that's hit hard with COVID. This is sort of like the epicenter of um, where the pandemic is. So, um, but yeah, as I said, a lot of people are moving out of LA um, traveling and you know just to get a break because I think everyone in LA is feeling you know kind of worn out and exhausted of social distancing, wearing a mask, doing everything that we can and still there's no improvement in the amount of people getting COVID, the, the COVID deaths, everything, the numbers are just going the wrong way so it's just tiring guys. Um, anyway, I'm gonna try moving the camera closer because I feel like I might be a little dark. There we go. So anyway, so from um, from a mental standpoint, I feel like nobody's thinking enough about your mental health 
during this lockdown because a lot of people are actually struggling, um, you know, being isolated, feeling lonely, um, you know, not having the gyms. Uh, I know for me, like I went to the gym almost every day and not being, you know, not having the chance to go to the gym for coming close to a year now without going to the gym. That's hard. It sucks. For me, the gym was not just for my physical conditioning, but also for my mental conditioning as well. That's what the gym meant to me. Um, and as I said, I'm thinking about going to Chicago for a couple of weeks, um, you know, to see my family, have some quality time, have, you know, spend some time with my friends, of course, while social distancing, um, but also get to use the gym and like, sorry, there's construction going on upstairs. Um, but also get to use the gym and, you know, um, to get my body and my conditioning right, especially now that jobs are starting to pick up a little bit in Los Angeles, I wanna make sure that I look and feel my best, you get me? So, um, so everyone has a way um, that they kind of keep saying, right? They have something that they do, whether it's read books or journal or take long walks or run or whatever everyone is finding a way to kind of make sure that their mental health is in check. And for me, I actually kind of picked up a bad habit. And guys, I can't lie, I am addicted. I'm an addict. This is me reaching out, this is my confession, this is me coming clean and hoping that I can go through some kind of rehab to get rid of my addiction. And this is hard for me guys. Um, so I've been addicted. I've been addicted to shoes. I've been addicted to shoes. I've been addicted to buying shoes. And over the, the, the last, I don't know, month maybe, maybe last three weeks, I've spent so much money on shoes and I can't, I'm embarrassed to even tell you guys how much I've spent on shoes. And I mean, you know, I just, I just have a problem and you guys know I'm a huge sneakerhead. Um, also the, the TV show on Netflix, Sneakerhead came out and that just like made my love for sneakers like explode even more. Um, so recently I got this, this is the Jordan 1, um, Volt Gold. Um, I love this shoe and I haven't worn it yet and I have nowhere to wear these shoes to. That's the problem because everything is locked down. We're in a pandemic and here I am buying shoes with nowhere to go. Um, so I got these shoes. I really love them. I can't wait to wear them after the pandemic. Um, they're really nice. It's um, As you guys can see, what do you guys think about it? Thumbs up, thumbs down, <laughs> drop it in the comment, let me know. Um, I also got these Yeezys, which a lot of people have, but I just love like this look. Um, it's very clean, very simple, very basic, and it's super comfortable. Um, again, I haven't worn these shoes yet, but um, I love them. I really like them. Another one I got uh, that I'm super excited about, I haven't worn it yet because I have nowhere to go, um, is these Dunks. Uh, pine green dunk off whites uh, Nike collaboration. This shoe is so like ah, it's delicious. Like that's the word. That's the word. This shoe is delicious. Um, so yeah, so these shoes are fire, guys. Like I don't know, I don't care what you think, whether you like them a lot or not. These shoes are one of my favorites. Um, and I actually have two more shoes coming uh, this week. So uh, one of them I'm super excited about. It's the uh, off-white Nike collab, um, black Air Force Ones with the white check. I can't wait to rock those shoes. Um, so I think, yeah, maybe maybe some video, I'll give you guys like a tour of my sneaker collection. I kind of started like a, a little sneaker connection going. So I'll show you guys some looks and, you know, talk about how I, you know, put them together. So that's my addiction, guys. I'm trying to control it. I promised myself I'm not gonna buy shoes anymore. However, there are some shoes that are dropping on the sneaker app this week that I'm ugh, I'm stoked about getting. Um, but if I don't get it, then oh well. Um, but yeah, so that's my addiction, guys. So um, I'm a sneakerhead. I love sneakers and yeah, um, that's how I'm staying sane in this pandemic. So anyway, so um, one big announcement, and this is gonna be really cool for aspiring models especially, or even working models as well too. Um, I have something that I'm launching and introducing 
uh, but I'm doing a beta test right now on my website. Um, so if you guys go to my website, you're gonna see um, in my online store, there is something called model consultation. So I've partnered with a lot of models who are working models, professional models. They're represented by some of the top agencies in the world and they stay busy. They stay booked and busy all year round. Um, they're traveling internationally um, all over. They're traveling to New York, New Paris, Europe, wherever. They're traveling all over, all over the globe to model. So I've partnered with a couple of models and I've added them to my um, coaching board, if you will. So what I'm doing is I'm giving you guys an opportunity uh, to have a one hour consultation with a model, with a professional model. So you would get to ask any questions that you guys may have. Um, this model coach would essentially give you some tips, some personalized tips. So not just tips, uh, the general tips that you see on my channel, but mainly personalized tips. So they'll take a look at your Instagram, take a look, look at whatever model book or portfolio you have, whatever pictures you have, um, tell you and guide you on how to get an agency or if you're already signed, what you guys can do to market yourself to get more work. Um, some other things that you might not even be thinking about, um, these model coaches can guide you and give you guys a really um, detailed um, and highly valued consultation within an hour. Now these consultations are either phone calls or video calls. Right now I've added it to my website so you guys can uh, check out the link in the description box is going to be in there. Um, go check it out. I'm giving the first 10 people to try this out 50% um, discount using the coupon code COACHME um, for the first 10 people. After that it goes to full price. Um, so definitely check that out in the link below. Um, and if you guys try this, I promise you it's going to be worth your time. You guys are going to get so much information within an hour and you guys are going to have a clear direction of what you can do specifically to get represented by an agent, to get more work or whatever your goal is, whatever questions you guys have, your model coaches would answer these questions for you. So check out the link, go get your model coach right now. Be one of the first 10 people to save 50% off and also drop me a review. I definitely would love to hear how we can improve this experience because um, I'm actually going to build a separate website for this model coach. Um, but for right now, I'm beta testing it on my website and I would love to hear your feedback. What can we do to improve the experience? So if you do um, go ahead and um, reserve a spot for a model coaching, um, definitely drop some comments in my review section so that way I know what can do to make it a better experience. So yeah guys, so um, still enjoying my salad. Um, so this is, um, yeah, this year is going to be exciting guys. So I'm really excited for this year, um, especially now that we have a new president in America and there's a plan to disseminate the vaccinations. <clears throat> So hopefully we can get the pandemic behind us this year and a lot of people, a lot of models can start working again and businesses can pick up and LA can be a fun place to, to hang out or to come vacation because right now there's nothing to do. So really looking forward to this year. Um, on a personal note, um, I actually lost my uncle this week, um, but I'm not going to spend too much time talking about that because I don't want to get too emotional. Um, and today is actually the first day since the news that, um, I've been eating and you know uh, having a little bit of normalcy because it's been rough for my for me and my family um, the last couple of days. But I lost my dear uncle. Um, you know he meant a lot to me, and um, you know it's very difficult, especially in a pandemic, to lose someone at this time because you know there are all these restrictions and you know. Um, social distancing and all of that so the family can necessarily come together as you like but um, you know we're, we're trying to sort all of that out right now but um, yeah my uncle he you know he was a great person very kind-hearted um, he loved to enjoy life he loved the beach he loved sports so, so yeah I posted something about it um, the other day on Instagram and on Facebook um, and thank you guys for those who reached out and you know kind of you know showed some support um, I really appreciate you guys um, yeah guys so that's that's it for this video um, if you guys like this video if you guys are excited about 2021 
hit me a thumbs up. Always appreciate it. That helps with the algorithm. So that way this channel can get more viewers. Um, so I definitely appreciate you guys. Um, don't forget to sub if you guys are watching for the first time. Go check out my model coaches. Link in the description box down below. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next one. What's your, what's your favorite part about living in California or Los uh, Angeles? Uh, the, four, the four seasons, you know. Uh, temperature 70 degrees all year round. Beautiful beach weather. And two hours you can climb, go up to see the city snow in the mountains. In two hours. Yeah. Yeah, yeah two hours from everything. And how long have you been li living in Los Angeles? Oh, about uh, 34 years. So pretty, you know. Yeah. You can beat it, you know. <laughs> this is the best place to live in any, anywhere in the world.